Welcome back to ZNN. Testing dates this week will include algebra Monday and Tuesday and geometry Wednesday and Thursday. The curriculum showcase is April 26th at 4 p.m. We still need volunteers to make this place. Please see Ms. Shetner. If you are interested in buying a yearbook, please contact Mrs. Flint. Prom is April 29th. Get your tickets now. Today. Right now. Thursday, baseball plays at Barnesville. Friday, baseball and softball OVAC finals to be announced. Track at Union Local. Saturday, baseball and softball OVACs to be announced. What is your go-to dance move? Can you show me? Uh, probably the gritty. What's your go-to dance move, and can you show me? Yeah, I'm gonna say the sprinkler. Or maybe the Q-tip. <laughs> <laughs> What's your go-to dance move, and can you show me? I like the Cupid shuffle. Like that was to the left. You get to the right. Love it. <laughs> What's your go-to dance move? A whip. <laughs> what is your go-to dance move? Will you do it with me? Sure. <laughs> What's your go-to dance move? Can you just show me? <laughs> What's your go-to dance move? Um. Can you just show me? Probably cranking the soldier Can boy. you just show me? No. You have to do it. What are some ways we could introduce flexible teaching in our classrooms at Shenandoah? What are the benefits of flexible teaching? I'll start with the benefits and then I'll talk about introducing. So I think the benefits are, especially like when you're teaching it, a introduction class like robotics like i think the first time like you're learning about stuff you have to do notes you have to do things like that but then taking like the note side of things and integrating it into a project like well like this here for instance so i think that's an important part of flexible teaching because if you're just sitting there just giving notes day after day after day and not relating it to something physical or real world then it does then there's like a dissociation between those things um as far as introducing flexibility um I think the big thing is that we as teachers need to try to research who's doing it and who's doing it well. Figure out who has the best practices in that and go watch those people. How do they do that blend of flexible teaching of projects, notes, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the flipped classroom model. See who's doing that, watch them do it, and then that way we can kind of bring it back to here. When using flexible teaching, you may want to go outside for class. What would be some restrictions that would come along with having a class outside? Well, none of my classes could be outside. Um, <laughs> let's roll. Let's roll the T-shirt printer out and see what happens. <laughs> um, um, I would say make sure that whatever it is that you are talking about, you are. It's something that you'd want to do outside. Like in eighth grade, when I did the bottle rocket project. Well, yeah, we have to go outside for that. I mean, we have to launch them outside the building or else we're gonna put holes in the ceiling. Um, but also I think too, I think getting outside with students and just getting outside as adults too, that's good for us because if you're cooped up in a room all day, you're gonna go crazy eventually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, for students who don't necessarily want to be outside, what would you do with those students? Um, I don't wanna just send them to study hall. I would try to find an alternative project or something they could do 
but then find someone to kind of be able to oversee that. Or like I'd have somebody take the group of students outside to let them work on what they're doing and then I stay back and work with that group inside. So try to find an alternative way to let them do the same thing and then have someone to kind of help oversee the two groups. Um, what are some safety protocols that would have to follow while having a class outside? Well, anytime I got signed, I always tell Jill. That's the first thing. Always, always let the office know where you are because I know sometimes something happens or a student has to leave. They got to call your room, and if you're not there, then they're like, "Where'd you go?" So definitely, I would always check out with Jill and make sure that we are always exiting and entering through the same doorway, so the main doors each time. Um, if blended learning was introduced to Shenandoah, do you think the students would utilize the new ways of learning? If so, why? I think you. I think you guys would. I mean. You guys are always willing to try different things. I mean, you're not afraid about doing something different. And just like anything, the first few steps are going to be a little bit rough. But once we learn how to do it better and better, we'll all get better at it. So you're pretty used to that too. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Can we get a tour of your vehicle here? Absolutely. This is my brother John's truck. I'll be happy to show you. All right. All right, so this baby, you have to slam the door real good. Baby is almost 40 years old, 1986, F-250. Um, again, it's my brother John's. Uh, he's letting me borrow it so I didn't have to put rental car money into this for a month. It is a uh, 6.9 6 IDI International Diesel, I believe. <laughs> it's a beast. Uh, this thing has taught me a lot of patience. I used to go 70 plus miles an hour on the interstate. I know it's 70. Um, I usually go 60 to 65 on the interstate. He has um, uh, all of this storage. Uh, this is a trick, like to get these in and out for gas. We have two um, fuel tanks, which is really nice. Speak what this is a uh, false bottom. Check these drawers out. All right, hang on. All right. There we go. Check this out. Look at that storage. This used to be a work truck back in the day. Got a little bit of everything in there. Look at those. <laughs> what are you going to tie wrap with that? This is how we lock the. Oh, we'll show you this. This, is open. Um, this is how we lock. This is how we lock the the gate so that nobody can take the tools out of there. Um, lots of steward, uh, storage. This is thanks to Royal King. Thank you very much. Um, he was not real happy, but he rolled with it. Um, this is. Uh, uh, Sully, my golden doodle puppy, rides right here. Um, I strap him in for safety's sake because, you know, he's my child. So we strap him in. When my mom is going with me, let me show you. She's 93, by the way. Milk crate. Stool. Step right up. And there she's in. <laughs> How about that? the engine yes oh and oh wow every day uh, or at night I have to plug it in because uh, like I said she's almost 40 years old so she's she's tired and oh wait, 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 wait. Ooh. oh there man it's too tall for me. but I don't know anything about it I put diesel fuel in it. I make sure that there is uh, good oil in it. I have to check the antifreeze sometimes. My brother had to remind me, do not take this off when it's hot. Didn't know that. I think so too. Can I get one of you guys to pull that down? Cause
Oh, I was making a really dumb face when you said that. Where you go? Go ahead. Whatever you're ready. If you would like a SHS yearbook, <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, Ooh. here we go. You're wearing Nike, right? Just do it. Miss Shepner or Mrs. Warner. <laughs> Take four. What's the yearbook? Got a guy ring your head today. Hang on, it's right. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> testing, <laughs> testing. I gotta spit out my gum. I don't like to run out of gas, and I have run out of gas a couple times in my life because I'm. Stupid. Period. <laughs> don't put that in, Sarah. <laughs> no, I'm ch I'm making Carly chop that out. Okay. Try. Uh, Grace, you do it first. Yeah. I already did. I just showed you. You slow her up. <laughs> She needs to keep warm. I I'm forget sure how to open this. That's great on the electric bill. It is. Just do it. Like Nike. Right now. Right now. Talk. Hello. Testing. One. <laughs> Three. Um. And who watches all of it this? Says to be an out. <laughs> Thank you. Really warm. I was trying to get all the slobber off of it. Thank you. Signing off. Thank you. Thank you. And goodbye.